A lot of you guys might recognize this box as what was formerly going to be a little mini dump trailer that I originally intended to build to pull behind my uh, Honda Recon 250, which is a decent little utility ATV, not just decent as a great one. And then uh, that or any lawn tractors. I've fixed and flipped a lot of lawn and garden tractors over the years. And I always intended on keeping a really good one, but it seemed like the better they were, the more profit I made. And so I had an even harder time hanging on to any of those. And I eventually sold my quad for quite a large profit there sometime toward the beginning of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, when those things were going for a lot of money, which they still are. In fact, I think they're going for even more money now. And I made a really good profit off of that quad, and uh, my intention was to eventually get a tractor anyway. So having this little mini dump trailer to pull behind a small machine like that just didn't even make sense anymore. It went through a few different uh, designs. Basically, I was originally designing it to be... Uh, run with a little manually powered hydraulic cylinder and then I just realized there's no economical way of doing that and then it moved to just being a tilt dump bed so I put it up on uh, two pivot points both sides of the bed were supported by them and then I would just put a pin in I never got this far of course but pull the pin and it tip back and dump out the contents and then the third iteration which was I was going for at the end was going to be um, just your standard kind of small dump trailer with a winch where you have a post with a pulley on top and the winch goes from uh, one side of the tongue, wraps around that post up around the top, and then uh, as you pull it in, it picks up the dump trailer and uh, dumps out the contents. And that was suggested multiple times over by uh, someone I just about consider a, a good friend now through the internet, Jeremy. He suggested it multiple times and I thought it was a good idea and it just never uh, really quite happened because I was always dragging my feet on it. It was always just not exactly what I wanted and so it was hard to kind of stay motivated and really put any more money into it and that's fine because uh, I've got a little trailer frame now that I can do something with. I'll probably just throw a piece of sheet metal over the top of it and sell it on Facebook Marketplace. I made a little bit of money off of the last one I made like that. It was surprising how many people wanted that little trailer and so I've got that option and then I've got this little three-point carry-all box now. So the idea was just to have something to put uh, tools and equipment and materials, parts and firewood, things like that in to pull behind my tractor because uh, it's really handy to have a place to put some tools and things. I think what mostly people call these things is carry-alls and I've seen different designs of them. Most of them aren't little uh, boxes like the one I made here seems like most people have them like they kind of have a high side and then it's more of a platform maybe with a couple uh, little short sides on them depending on what it is and those make a lot of sense too but I thought that a box would be a little more versatile especially being that I had it about three quarters of the way made maybe even 80 percent uh, 90 percent somewhere in there it was mostly already built and so that explains why this box is already mostly built here like it is. And so if you want to go back and watch this thing being built, I've got other videos on it, I don't know, way back in. I don't think any of them are that interesting and not that great. Not that this video is much better. But uh, I think it's got some better characteristics than a lot of those older videos are going to have. And so really, uh, we're just kind of closing out the whole way too long like I don't know three year long uh, mini dump trailer build that I did like four or five parts on that just simply never got finished and it was such a small project that took me forever to get finished and I'm really glad that eventually I settled on this because I think it's gonna make more sense and and do a lot better for me Keep in mind, I was mostly just building this out of scrap materials. In fact, outside of that box, I did buy some new materials for the box itself. Everything else is pretty much just scrap material I have laid around. And so, did the best I could with what I had, and that's usually what I do because, well, materials and parts and all kinds of things are really, really expensive these days. So I just always try to make get by with what I've got and do everything as cheap as I can while still uh, trying to do at least a half decent job.
I originally started painting this thing in red and ultimately decided I better throw some primer on it after the fact and then I walked into my local Walmart to get more red paint and some primer so I can prime it correctly and I literally only had the option of black. I don't know if there's some kind of uh, spray paint shortage going on right now with all the uh, shipping issues and, and supply issues that we have in our country right now but I had to go black would have preferred to go red. Uh, the paint job turned out okay it's gonna be better rust protection than anything else.